So in this video, I want to discuss how to create an air gap system to manage secure files. Yeah, uh, you know, at, at at some point, everyone has something highly sensitive that they need to protect, whether it be some private keys like PGP keys, um, uh, Bitcoin keys, you know, Bitcoin wallet, uh, seed words, you know, things like that. Uh, it's always best to write this stuff down, uh, laminate it, store it in a safe. Uh, begin. Uh, but but then again, um, the safe could get damaged, or someone can pick up the safe and take it. Um, the criminals they the, they won't have access to the data that's in it if you secure it right. But you still don't have access to it because you don't have access to the safe anymore. The next layer uh, or the next thought you could do um, uh, is store the files in a in the cloud. You know, Google Cloud, Amazon Cloud, Microsoft Cloud, Dropbox. You know, at least these provide a redundant uh, way to access the file. Uh, but then again, you always run the risk of someone having access to the file. Um, you know, like a disgruntled employee at Google uh, or Microsoft, uh, they take access or they they steal your files. Um, so what you uh, what could you do to store files in the cloud to provide the the extra layer of redundancy? Uh, what you could do is you have to you have to create the file in a secure enclave environment, um, and then um, add additional layers to the files. Uh, so it's kind of like an onion. Um, you would you know to, to to get to the core of the onion, you got to peel the outer layers out uh, off of it. So what we're going to do in this video, um, I'm going to show you the process that I go through um, to encrypt the file using PGP, uh, exporting the file, the, the PGP key, compressing um, the PGP file uh, and the encrypted file, and then using the tool uh, like OpenSSL to AES256 encrypt uh, the actual outer layer of the file. Uh, then you can do whatever you want to with it, store it, email it, you know, whatever you want to do to it. So first you got to uh, think about your environment, the security enclave environment you're going to use. Um, I use a laptop that I got from a pawn shop that doesn't have any, doesn't have a network card in it, doesn't have a uh, hard drive in it, doesn't have a CROM drive in it, doesn't even have the battery in it. I took all that out. Uh, it's literally just a bare bone laptop that um, it's got some USB ports on it. Um, and what I'm going to do is I boot the laptop in to an environment, uh, to a Linux environment, like a live environment. Uh, my favorite Linux uh, distro uh, with you know using a security enclave is Tails. You can go to their website, download the ISO, burn it to a to a USB drive. Um, and whenever you want to store files, you can store it on a drive like this. Uh, it's an AES TP6 uh, military uh, validated uh, USB drive. You got to provide a pin um, before the drive can unmount itself onto a computer. You plug it in without the pin number in, it's not going to mount. Um, this isn't the the, the fail safe. But you still need to store it somewhere else, you know, because this drive could fail. You know, you don't want to rely everything on this one drive. Um, the good thing about software is uh, you can you can move it. You can store it in different providers, things like that. So in this example, uh, I've just I'm using VMware, so I can boot up into Tails. You're not going to do this. You're actually going to use an air gap system like a laptop with. Uh, no network card in it, no hard drive, nothing like that. You're just going to boot it into the operating system. Uh, so I've ge generated uh, two secure passwords. This is going to be the PGP password, and this is going to be the OpenSSL password. And then if you followed uh, one of my other videos um, on secu uh, making secure passwords, um, you know that you know you want to use a salt. So this is what you're going to give the password manager and then you're just going to fill this in so this right here is only stored in your head it's not stored anywhere else so I've created a file on the desktop um, 
called secret file. This is the contents of it, secret file. And we're going to encrypt this. First thing we need to do is we need to generate, uh, or we yeah, we need to generate a PGP key. So we're going to create a PGP key and just name it uh, your name, hot, uh, your name at gmail.com. You can just make up an email address. Uh, RSA 496. Make sure this is checked and never expire. We're not sending an email uh, with it. We're just uh, we're just encrypting the files with it. Generating the key. All right, and there it is. Um, again, this is just the part you give uh, last pass. You remember this last part. Uh, next thing you gotta do is you gotta export it. So we're gonna export the key, name it that to the desktop, provide the password. All right. So now it's on the desktop, the key, um, your secret file, and your passwords. So that you're, this is just a temporary spot. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to encrypt this. You're going to right click on it. Um, get this out of the way. So you're going to right click on it and you're going to encrypt it using your key. All right, and there it is, secretfile.txt.pgp. You can actually get rid of the original file, and you you don't need that no more. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to compress. You're going to join these two together. That way, they're two. They're just one file. Just name it uh, key plus secret. Right, so you can get rid of the key that you've exported because it's in there, and you can get rid of the encrypted file because it's in there as well. So that's all you have left. And this is the file we're actually going to encrypt using SSL. This file. I'm going to open a terminal up. There it is. The secret key. That zip. Open SSL. PBKDF2 iteration thousand salt. Um, the input file is going to be that. The output file is going to be that. Dot open SSL. Uh, oh, forgot to add. That. Now you gotta put a password in. Again, it's gonna be this plus the salt. Copy that in. Control V. Control V again. Alright. Now you have the OpenSSL file. You can actually get rid of the zip file now. Alright. Now what we're going to do is um, when you reboot the system, um, when, you, when you reboot the operating system, Tails, it doesn't keep any of this. Um, so let's just pretend that you just rebooted the, the, the system. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and just do that. I'm going to save. I'm going to copy these on the flash drive. Oops. And just reboot the system.
All right, so we're back in the environment. Let's open up the flash drive. Get our password. Open up the terminal here. First thing we have to do decrypt and then the output file is that we we'll note that put the password in all right and there oh well, there it is right there the zip file all right, so next thing, you can get rid of the OpenSSL file. You don't need it. Open up this, the archive and just extract both of these out of there. Get rid of the archive file. You're going to have to import your key. You're going to have to provide the password for the key. All right, so keys imported. Now you can decrypt the secret PGP file. And there you go. There you have it.